protein shakes are gonna f you up. Stop drinking protein shakes. No, next. We have been so deeply conditioned by this idea that our body needs extra protein for strength. We need to shift our focus from eating and drinking protein to actually focusing on amino acids. What? So, since she doesn't know this, uh, protein is made up of 9 essential amino acids and 11 non-essential amino acids. Now, your body can make the 11 non-essential amino acids, but you have to get the 9 essential amino acids through your diet. But protein sources have those amino acids. Proteins are literally long chains of amino acids that fold into three-dimensional shapes that give whatever it is its bioactivity. But when you eat food, or drink a shake, your body hydrolyzes these, basically chops them off into amino acids. So guess what you're getting when you eat protein or you drink a shake? Amino acids. Body needs all 12 essential amino acids. Wait, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Imagine so confidently stating something that is plainly f***ing Wrong. Dr. Norton, why did she say those 12 essential amino acids? <laughs> Elementary idea, Watcher. She made it up! Yeah, so there's not 12, there's nine. Sometimes you can argue that one is uh, conditionally essential, but there's nine. In adults, there's nine. She didn't even Google it. I mean, this isn't like a, 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 a difficult thing. This is not like complicated. There aren't scientists walking around. What is it, Bob? Just really stumped as to how many essential amino acids there are. Just, I, it's, I, I, I've been trying to figure it out for six months, and I just, the data isn't lining up. No, you can Google it. You can open any textbook, and it'll tell you right in there. Nine essential amino acids. In fact, preschoolers can do this, because they can count. Remember Sesame Street? How many essential amino acids count? Ah, 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 ah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine essential amino acids. Ah, 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 ah. I mean, sh not even halfway through this video. And this can be provided in a super simple meal at home. A mix of rice, lentils, and a healthy amount of golden key will provide you all 12 amino acids. Not just any ghee, golden ghee. Now, we already touched on the she can't count. It's not 12 amino acids. And yes, you can do a mixture of plant proteins and get your essential amino acids. Yes. If this is, I'm assuming this is a plant-based person who is trying to promote that diet. Um, you can build as much muscle on a plant-based diet as you can on an animal-based diet. But the downsides to that are you need to consume more total plant protein because one, the intact plant protein the protein in it, a lot of it is bound up in the fibrous material of the plant, making it less available to digestive enzymes, and so it's less bioavailable. And then the amino acid quality tends to be lower because it tends to be lower in essential amino acids. So you gotta eat more of it, but if you eat enough, yes, you can build as much muscle with plant protein. The other downside to plant protein typically comes along with calories from other sources, like carbohydrates or fats. So if you're on a calorie restricted diet or a low calorie diet and try to eat high protein, it can be challenging to get it in through plant sources, which is why I tell people, if you're a strict vegan, there are some good plant protein powders out there that will allow you to get in what you need. So uh, soy protein, in my opinion, probably the best one out there because it has the highest amino acid score. It has good digestibility, good bioavailability, soy protein isolate. Some people will knock soy, but if you look in the research studies, usually if you're getting enough of it, there's no difference in muscle building between soy and something like whey. The reasons she's stating are insane. All the protein, vitamins, and minerals that you need. All yogis live on this simple but wholesome diet. They are leaner, more agile, more alert, more flexible, more athletic, stronger, and with better cognitive function, and with better heart function. My master's teachers are over 150 years old, and they are all on this very simple meal plan. My master's teachers, not in counting or math, are over 150 years old. Dr. Norton, why would she say they're over 150 years old? Hm. Elementary, my dear Watson. She made that up! I mean, we already know she wasn't good with numbers. I mean, but there's a big difference between being off by three and being off by, I don't know, 60. Because she's talking about her master's teachers. I'm pretty sure this was not from the credited school. 
Just saying. Living to be over 150 years old. Hmm. She can't Google, but I can. What is the oldest age documented that a person has lived to? The oldest documented age a person has lived to is 122 years and 164 days. Her name is Jean Calment of France. I could have said it wrong. She was born February 21st, 1875 and died August 4th, 1997. I bet she could count to nine. So she thinks her master's teachers are over 150 years old. Well, based on the fact that she was 25% off on the number of amino acids there are, it doesn't surprise me that she thought they were 150 years old when they were probably like, I don't know, 70 or 80. As far as like what she said here, uh, she made it up. In fact, I gotta go. I'm preparing my doomsday bunker for when the idiots finally get a hold of the button. Bye.